What is going on guys? My name is Matthew Aguilar and if you don't know me by now, if you don't watch my videos, I make fitness videos. Uh, currently, I'm in the process of losing weight and I'm showing you guys every single week what I do, what I eat, and how I'm looking so far. I have a couple progress pictures that I will show you guys. Uh, I think so far it is going very good. Uh, my physique is starting to come along a little better than before, you know, I'm starting to actually like my body again, which is great. So the confidence is slowly seeping back in. I fall in love with the process again and I finally doing what I want to do again, which is great. Um, however, now it's a little tougher than the past two weeks. Thursday, November 12th was the first day that I started going back to work. I never want to do that again. <laughs> I, I don't like going to work and I don't like my job in, in, at all. I know it could be worse, but trust me, it still sucks regardless. Just saying it could be worse does not make it any better, so please bear with me. Uh, but I'm actually 10 pounds down right now. Started at 230, around 232, uh, but I'm currently down to 220. That is finally one pound closer to the teens. I am so excited. It took me two weeks for some reason to finally lose that one pound, but I finally did it. Uh, my physique, like I said, is coming along better. I no longer have to stretch out my shirts to fit back in larges. Larges are pretty big on me now. If you guys can't see, they're pretty, pretty, they're pretty big on me. And one thing that I'm super excited about is having the ability to finally wear my old shirts again. That has to be the most rewarding thing possible when any kind of workout plan or just working out in general is fitting back in your old clothes. I miss my old clothes and I'm one step closer to fitting back in my medium sized clothes. Uh, I used to wear mediums for everything, medium hoodies, shirts, you know, sweatpants, but now I ended up hitting like the larges and extra larges. So currently I am slimming down just enough to where larges are getting baggy again. So I'm super excited, but I'm not quite in the medium zone just yet. Uh, my pants, they're also getting looser and looser. My work pants are getting way looser, and honestly, I love it. I'm super excited for it. Uh, this past week, I've been cutting out my carbs as much as possible, but I'm not getting rid of them entirely. Mainly because I do lift weights almost every single day. I lift weights probably six days out of the week. And whenever you lift heavy weights and you don't have the proper energy to do so, you get a little lightheaded. And I don't even need to pick up heavy weights and I already, you know, I'm starting to see stars when I pick up heavy weights. So I'm making sure I'm properly hydrated, have the proper nutrients that I need, but I'm also making sure I eat enough calories throughout the day. Um, but so far I am falling in love with the process and I cannot be any more happy to say that because falling in love with the process is key to losing weight. Uh, I explain a little more in depth on my previous video on how I lost 70 pounds. I went from 250 pounds to 173 uh, before I joined the military. And I'm not trying to get back to 173 because the weight that I was at at 173 was very awkwardly skinny. I had no muscle to me and honestly, I don't want to go back. I'd rather be, you know, a solid 185, but you know, just kind of... Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah. I am super excited to continue on. I'm gonna be continuing doing what I've just started doing so far as working, uh, which is, you know, I'm trying to keep my carbs as low as possible, but like I said, I'm not doing no carb. Uh, I'm trying to eat more healthier fats, so eating a little more eggs, eating avocados, eating salmon, you know, a bunch of fish and veggies that have a bunch of higher uh, fiber contents. So that is so far the goal, and honestly, I'm the diet isn't that bad. Uh, I, I'll go over my new current diet plan on a following video and what exactly I'm eating and how I choose to eat throughout the day and a little more of my workout plans because I started doing other kinds of lifting. So far, my chest is developing, my shoulders are developing, my back is developing. Everything is going according to plan and I'm finally happy to say that because, not gonna lie, I was kind of scared for about like a week or two weeks. I also went ahead and bought a pair of Bose headphones. They the Bose noise canceling 700s. So one thing that I always love when going to the gym and cannot work without is music. Music is what drives me to continue going forward a little more. Just that extra little push that you need just to finish that last set. Kick it up a few more reps or just kick it up maybe like 10 pounds heavier just to really squeeze it out and try to progress your so overall, you know, how much you can lift. And honestly, that's what I find most interesting about weightlifting. Whatever you are doing to motivate yourself or get yourself hyped for the moment, 
I think that directly correlates to what music you're listening to. Cause I have all kinds of different music playlists for when I go to the gym. I have like my super heavy stuff when I'm lifting heavy weights and I needed to really just get mad at it and then just lift as heavy as possible and just go complete caveman on that kind of stuff, you know, and just feel, feel strong. But then there's also times when I'm there for other reasons like trying to actually get tone and go for higher reps. So I have other kind of like slower, more tempo based music to keep up with it, which is also super good stuff. But these right here are the Bose 700 noise canceling headphones. Yeah, there you go. And honestly, I love them already. I bought them about an hour ago, and from the little bit that I have of them, they are phenomenal. I will give a full in-depth review on another video once again, um, but I will also tell you guys my current experiences. Right now, catch these things on sale at Best Buy or Walmart or Bose himself. Uh, Black Friday sale, I believe they're going for 320, 330, I think. Uh, and the original price is almost $400, which is like $380, I think it is. So I went ahead and picked me up a pair just because I haven't bought myself anything nice in I don't know how long, and honestly, I am craving any form of dopamine at this point. So these are gonna help me push myself up just a little bit harder in the gym, and honestly, I cannot wait to go back to the gym and try these out. Uh, I did a little sneak peek in my room of what they sound like, and they're noise canceling. So Bose actually has their own app for this kind of stuff. and it, allows you to choose the level of noise canceling. So if you don't want to hear, you know, Timmy Two Shoes over there grunting and just you don't have to, which is the best part and I'm so excited for that kind of stuff. So like I said, I will give a full in-depth review on these things whenever I've been using them for a little bit and I'll tell you guys about it then. So I believe I'm currently on update number nine. So that's nine weeks in, coming up on two months very quickly. Uh, this month wasn't as drastic as I thought it'd be. Granted, because the first two weeks of this month was kind of, it's kind of different. It wasn't there wasn't much progress. The progress that I did see is physical wise, and although my my overall weight and numbers aren't going down, that is not the biggest thing. You need to make sure that you're not slaving away by the numbers. But that is going to be it for this week's update on my fitness and weight loss going forward. Uh, like I said, it's going great, and. I cannot wait to continue it and I'm so excited and I will show you guys more and what I do. My workouts have changed a little bit, my diet has changed a little bit and I will show you guys an in-depth review on both of those, how I eat and how I train to get big but also lose fat at the same time. Uh, my name is Matthew Aguilar, I hope you enjoy the video. Always remember, keep running towards your dreams, you never know what will happen. Peace out guys, thanks.